Color specialist. Flux apron for me. So we are at the Flux studio, Minneapolis. I just freshly pressed it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gina, so what would you recommend for people with long hair that want to uh, keep coloring their hair? Experimenting with colors where they have to end up bleaching um, continuously or like, you know, but, with, but they want healthy hair. So it's gonna be like when you start off with a personal trainer. You may not get abs the first day, but she'll build you a plan to get you where you wanna go. Yeah. And that's my job. So basically, I always recommend everybody to book a consultation, so that way we can review your hair goals and we can build a successful plan to get you there in a way that's healthy for your hair. She's a hair coach. I'm a hair coach. She's a hair coach. A hair guru, hair coach. With my hair, it's super easy to keep coloring it because it's so short. Well, we cut it off every every time you come in to get your color done. We basically cut off the old color with starting new. With your hair, like if your hair is really long, you have to understand like hair this long is about two or three years old, four or five, six years old. So it you just have to treat it very differently and delicately. Yeah, and that's if you have virgin hair. If you have color on your hair, that's a whole different animal. And then if you have curly hair. You have to be careful because uh, aggressively lightening the hair can also disrupt your curl pattern. So you have to be very cautious with how you go about color. Yeah. I'm warming up. Oh. Yeah. It's a concert every Let's time. Stay <laughs> there it goes. I look so much like my father. <laughs> Like a little Bobby. <laughs> okay, what are we doing next? All right, so now that we shaved off the majority of your old color, I'm gonna mix up some decolorizer, and then we're gonna go through. It's really important. Um, uh, your hair is very dense, and so what does that mean? Uh, you have a shit ton of hair. Okay. Yeah. It's thick. Yeah, yeah. Thick as shit hair. Okay. So it's really important for me to go in and fully saturate your hair, so you have a consistent lift. For your blonding so that everything matches yes so because you want a neon green the beauty of that is we don't have to lighten you to white because the um if we can get you up to yellow yellow supports the neon of the green my hair lightens really easy though. it really does yeah so yeah. not too worried about that how long does the lightening process take levels of lift oh so you are about here and we're gonna need to get you So this is what happens when you start lightening your hair. You're breaking up the color and it's exposing underlying warmth and slowly working its way up to what we call a level 10. Whip it, whip it, whip it. <laughs> I like to get really emotional when I do color. So I never- She's a cancer. I am. I never recommend um, bleaching your hair at home. 
Uh, lightener is a really aggressive chemical and it can be very damaging not only to your skin but the hair as well. And usually, if you take the hair too far, chances are you can't go back. 2020, like, I'm, I'm not taking anything personal because there are people who are going to such shit that you guys so many different levels of people know. Exactly. And we're living in such chaos, not just outside in our workplace, wherever we try to go, but also at home. We're being dictated every second of our lives. Yeah. mystery hair transformation. I know what I'm doing. Well, she knows, but I don't. And I just, I'm just it's going with it. Two people. <laughs> So how do you know when it's done? So we're looking for, so think of it kind of like painting, like this is gonna be a base coat for whatever we put on top of it. So we have a nice yellow, like pale yellow tone. So it's gonna be perfect to support that lighter neon color. Like if you were say, still like really, really gold, that neon would not reflect the same way because that's your base coat, mm -hmm. so it would appear darker. So that's why we're trying to get in between these two puppies. So don't let the lightener fool you. You gotta brush off a little bit to see yeah, where they're at. We're gonna rinse it out and stuff, but. Yeah. It's coming along. <laughs> Oh, I didn't so, get to explain it. So, um, whenever I'm doing vibrant colors, um, I like to first tone towards the color I'm shooting for because it creates a really good foundation. Because again, it's like painting. Um, you want that base coat to support the color you're trying to create. We're doing it. And then the cop comes back. Let's get a good visual. Ah. Uh, <laughs> And, That's uh, not how it happens. I think I'm gonna like this later. Yeah, I get the.
And then softly let out some air. So it's like a little like it's like a little <laughs> <make a noise. laughs> So it brings out what you're cheap. <laughs> so what happens is when you close your mouth, sometimes you tighten the muscles around. So to soften up the muscles in your mouth and do that slight part that people do in pictures, you just do a little soft puff. Fire! Yeah. See the difference? Oh, my camera. Oh. Now I'm just fucking with y'all. <laughs> so basically what happens is um, you're going to push it forward. It feels weird, but it doesn't look weird. It, it doesn't. She it made me do it. My photos came out bomb. Yeah, it like, it structures your face. Then your neck, too. Look how her neck is. Exactly. It's all about length. She knows about this model and shit. Stay right there. <laughs> and whenever you can. And then look down and then soften the mouth. Go back that way. And then uh, turn your head slightly to the left. That's right there. Stay there. And then I'm going to have you shoulders back. Like you look so innocent. Soften your mouth. You look innocent. I am innocent. Oh no. I am. I'm a bug. <laughs> and I might want to be funny. Like, huh? Milkshakes. Oh no, so much. Oh, sorry. That wasn't funny. Sorry. You said think of something funny and immediately my mind went blank. Like, <laughs> don't tell me what to think of. Well, because normally I'll say like fart jokes, but I don't know you that well, so I didn't know if it was too soon to talk about the air. Flow. And Rachel do not like fart jokes. You know she'd be like, Yo. Moist. She don't like the word moist. I know. Think about these hating bitches out here. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> <laughs> these hoes ain't shit. Hey, <laughs> 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 <